Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm reviewing a very nice set of darts from Loxley and these are the Belgian player Robbie Knopps the Cyan and I think that refers to the manga characters Dragon Ball Z is it? It's not something I follow but I believe that's what it's about and it's a very nice looking straight barrel dart so let's check them out. I'm reviewing the 23 gram version. You can also get them in 22 and 24 gram in steel tip. There is no soft tip. The 90% tungsten and the retail for £61.95. So the darts come in this quite colourful cardboard packaging and the darts are fitted with the Loxley short stems and a rather fancy version of the Loxley Feather Flight standard shape. Dad's fitted with a black coat point and again it's a classic straight barrel ring grip style and like I've said before it's it's a style that's used by so many players so it's hardly surprising you see it so often but very nice uh, variation again got a slight tapered bull nose and a fairly normal ring grip on the front there but with that very nice gold coating on and on the rear you've got these kind of like I don't know what you would call them like wavy indents or cuts in the rings whether that's to do with that manga thing I don't know <laughs> I think I say because it's not something I'm familiar with that much but amazing as it is there's a little bit of grippiness off them I didn't think it would feel that different but there's some grippiness there not massively grippy though but a really neat looking dart all the same and the Loxley short stems and these quite fancy version of the feather flights kind of like blue and gold almost reminds me of some old-fashioned 60s or 70s wallpaper <laughs> So you've got a very slightly tapered bull nose and the front half is pretty much like a normal wide spaced ring grip. Obviously as you can see it's got the gold tie cotton and silvery tungsten shown in the grooves. And then on the rear it's a, a kind of a, a wide banded ring grip with these kind of like curved uh, milled out sections cut into the rings again with the grooves and the milled out sections all got the gold tie so you get a nice contrast between that and the silvery tungsten and then a taper on the end with the Loxley name so that's the super close look at the Robbie the Cyan Nop Starts that's fitted with a black coat of 29mm point, there's a tapered bull nose, that's 3.5mm, then you've got a standard ring and groove grip, 19.7mm, all with the gold tie coating on, and then on the rear half you've got these wide bands with the wavy milled cuts with the gold tie, and that's 20.15mm, on the rear you've got a taper with the Loxley logo, that's 4.65mm, length 48mm with 6.65mm. Twenty three point one four grams, twenty three point one four grams again, and twenty three point one four. So perfectly matched, full set up, twenty four point eight two grams. Here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied setup. And this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights. Probably about 5.5 .5 at most on the rear. High power, I can feel it already. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> I can't believe that last one went in. <laughs> oh well. 
I'm happy about that. That's just typical that. You get three in on first throw and then you can't get any. I'll miss completely now. Um, I was just trying to think what to say about the dart though. <laughs> um, I would say the thickness is kind of like the, the sort of thickness I prefer in a straight barrel dart. But um, the front half, well... Yeah, it's probably a bit less than half, but the, obviously the front section with the flat rings, it kind of just feels like I'm throwing the Eric Bristow darts, basically, because it's, it's very similar to them, the feel of them and the look. Oh, can't believe it now, can it? Any trebles? Well, treble one champion. But I do like the uh, gold um, Thai cotton. It does look nice. I always like it on a dart anyway. And for me, it might not be for everyone, but it kind of just has a slightly non-slip feel. It's kind of hard to describe it, basically, but... If it if it does that for you, then you'll know what I mean. But for some people, I don't think they can feel it. But I always find it it just helps a little bit. <laughs> it just adds a little bit to the grip. Um, I'll try it from the middle section now. So I think that's about where that first ring is with the kind of like curved cuts in it. So it flies quite straight from that position. Um, it's hard to say whether that section on the rear is adding more grip though. Maybe just slightly more. I can just feel like a, a little bit more edginess. So I'll try fully on the rear now. Oh, got a trouble with the rear grip again. <laughs> I thought I'm going to really try with that last start. But yeah, just your classic straight barrel ring grip style, but a slight neat touch for rear grippers, I think. And maybe for mid grippers as well. Front grippers, it's just kind of like a normal ring grip style. But it's got maybe around about the right dimensions, what I like in a straight barrel. So feels quite nice for me. There's two, trusty old double three again. There's three. Oh, oh that was close. Oh, my less is undone. Oh, just a second. <laughs> It's three so far. There's four. There's five. I thought it was in the uh, the white then, but not. Nope. Uh, 
There's six on the back city. <laughs> six. Come on. Oh. Ah, come on. Ah, I try. To, I end up putting pressure on myself because I want to try and get ten. That's six. I'm not going to get ten now. There's seven. Ah, oh, God. I'm not going to do it. I start tensing up and my throat goes all over. Yeah. No. Uh, seven. Four points. Oh, I think that's 39. I'm not sure if that's equal my high score or not. <laughs> I'll sneak that treble in. Four points. I think I was on 48, so that's 53, but I'm not sure if I'm miscounted somewhere. <laughs> Two 25s, 50 points. Ah, oh, hit the flight of the bottom dart. Uh, another 50, that's 100 after 6. Ooh, 325s, that's 175 after 9. Pity it wasn't three bullseyes. I've only ever done that once on a steel tip board. Second time, two are in the bullseye, and the third one, Robin Hooded. <laughs> Ooh, got a nice deflection off that other dart. I was going to say, I got deflected off that one into the 25, and then that one into the bullseye. Uh, I forgot where I was now. Was it 175? That's 250 after 12, was it? <laughs> I can't remember now. <laughs> Ooh, 225, so that's 225, so that's 300. All right, so on the doubles want the ball, as you can see, got another seven. Again, quite a lot with the seven. And I've got three darts at 39. So am I ever going to get over onto the 40s? <sniffs> Who knows? 
180 round the clock got 53 so that's a little bit further down and another one with 300 at the 15 at ball last time was the first time I got 300 and then I've got it again there you go so there you go that's the Loxley Robbie Knops the Cyan darts very nice looking dart but it is a pretty much a classic style it's only really the rear that's a little bit different and for that reason it's probably rear grippers who will get the best from it simply because it's got a slightly different grip on the rear just a little bit more grippy than the front half but having said that it felt very nice to throw with my front grip so if you just want to change of a straight barrel kind of ring grip style then definitely worth considering uh, it was nice to get a 180 and I should have beat the score on the 30 at 20 I really should have beat that easy but wasn't to be so I'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a close look at them if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do so and I'll see you in the next one happy darting